It's not often that you see a Roblox game with thousands of players getting a bad like to dislike ratio. I mean, Ready to Die exists, and so did Reason to Die. Alone was also downvoted into a 76%, and Pita Pita has a 78. But 49%? Oh my god. Dolly is one of the newest and more popular Roblox horror games out there, and this game caught my attention due to the terrible dislike ratio contrasted by the high player count. I was supposed to have this video out two weeks ago, but I just really didn't want to play this game. But then again, I'm Bredian, and I talk about niche Roblox games. What do you want me to do instead? Play Arsenal? In terms of the game design of Dolly, there's effort there, and at times I don't feel as if it means to be purposely exploitative. But it's exploitative enough to the point where I believe that criticism is more than deserved. I mean, the 49% didn't just fall out of the sky. How does that even happen? Well, good question. All right, so Dolly opens up with a little mini cutscene that tells you that you were trying to do your night shift at the hospital, and then you suddenly realize that there's dolls everywhere. There's also a living doll named Dolly that's going around turning people into said dolls. Now, the interesting thing here is that the game presents your objective as escaping the hospital, but like, the door is right there. Usually games like this put you in the role of a detective with the mission of investigating, or something bad happens at your night job and you're trapped inside. In this instance, there's basically nothing preventing you from leaving whatsoever. In fact, I think most people would have turned around and left as soon as they saw the doll at the counter. And I think most people would have definitely left as soon as they had to do Resident Evil style puzzles. In fact, I think that's exactly what happened. You see, Dolly is what I consider a time waster game. There's not much substance or anything of particular interest to keep the player properly engaged. Like, most horror games are at least going to throw jump scares or loud noises or stuff. This game has absolutely nothing. Dolly is more of an escape room than a horror game. But it doesn't say that in the title, so yeah, there's going to be a portion of kids who downvote on the sole reason of being a letdown. Ain't nothing worse than a liar in this world. In fact, this game would be marginally better if they removed the annoying ass Dolly NPC from the middle and just made it into an escape room. She's just really fucking annoying and doesn't add anything to the game except an excuse to die and sell more respawns to you. But I'm afraid that the game wouldn't even be able to properly stand strong if they removed Dolly from it, because a lot of these puzzles are a bit unfair for the age demographic that this game is trying to sell itself to. Usually Roblox horror games that waste your time mostly known as those experience games, consist of holding E over and over. Yes, it has absolutely no substance whatsoever, but keep in mind those hold E button prompts are easy for a kid to understand and navigate through. I sadly cannot say the same for Dolly, who uses a combination of holding E and touching the item in your hand to the item that it corresponds to. The roses have you hold E to pick them up, but then you have to equip them and try to get their hitbox to collide with the flower pot, which can be rather troublesome to pull off if you're playing on mobile, which I assume the majority of players of this game are. It's an inconsistent choice and it's kind of annoying. You can't lead on with one thing and then switch to another. It confuses the player. There's also this god awful part where you have to rub the UV flashlight over the walls in order to find a button, which is basically the definition of padding. You know, my friend actually looked up a walkthrough for this game, but it turned out to be 25 minutes and the guy doing it didn't even know what he was doing. He was just rubbing his flashlight all over the walls. I can't even blame him, really. Yeah, so then I went to bed, and I didn't touch the game for another two weeks. And there it was, still going strong. She was waiting for me. I, I just want to stick my thumbs into her fucking eyes. Dolly doesn't do anything meritable except annoy you and hinder your progress. The game would be better if she wasn't there. And you can't even argue that she has to be there for narrative integrity, because there literally is no benefit to her. She only exists to hurt the experience. Perhaps... If Dolly was better implemented, then this wouldn't be a problem. So yeah, we beat it, and the game teaches you lore through these little pieces of paper scattered around the hospital. Also, when trying to read them, the game gets rid of the little interface two seconds after you click on it. It's really annoying. Throughout the hospital, you have to solve a lot of puzzles, and a decent number of them aren't actually that bad. All of the bad ones just happen to be in the starting room. Think of this game like cycling uphill. The start of it is really hard, but once you get past it, it's less painful. But there's still things like rocks and snakes on the way down. You cure this lady who got turned into a doll, and you also stab Dolly in the heart with thumbtacks. What the fuck? After you escape the hospital and epilogue or whatever plays, and it says that the lady you cured end up finding a way to cure all of the dolls. Very poggers of her. I'm never saying that again. You know, I could say that I want this game to get better, but I really don't care. If you are afraid of dolls, do not play this Roblox horror game. In fact, I'm pretty sure that the developer doesn't care either. She made this game by herself. She didn't have to split the profits with anybody, except Roblox. She probably made some decent money. She also made this game called Evelyn, which I have a weird sense of deja vu about, but I don't remember anything about it. It has a higher score than this one, though, and it made money. Anyways, yeah, I haven't much to say about this game. It's not very good, but you can probably already see that. Anyways, I'm Bready and the guy who talks about niche Roblox games. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. 
How do you feel, kiddos? Ew. <laughs> Stop. Don't. I feel very, very, I, uh... very happy. Yeah, I would, I would place that with horny.